everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking on today's video. So today's video is a little bit of like an old school YouTube video, that's how it feels to me anyway. Um, but I thought I would just sit down with you guys and have a little chat and share some of my favourite things with you. So I'm going to be talking about skincare in today's video. Now, at the ripe old age of almost 26, I've tried a lot of skincare in my time and I feel like over the last year or so, um, I've probably come to a conclusion of what kind of products work well for my skin and I think I now finally know what sort of products I like and I know how to manage my skin and I know what works for it and what doesn't. So I thought that now I've kind of curated my like perfect skincare regime and I know exactly what products I like, I thought it was about time I sat down and shared my all-time favourite skincare products with you in case you are feeling a little bit stuck, in case you've got similar skin to me and you are looking for some new products or you want to just try some new products or you're looking for some recommendations then I really hope you find this video helpful and yeah I'm just going to show you guys all of my all-time favourite skincare products that I love and cannot live without. So a little bit of a backstory, not too long, I'm not going to drag this intro on any longer but my skin is pretty dry I get the odd breakout but not too bad I used to get a lot more spots when I was younger so yeah I don't really tend to get any like acne or breakouts I get the odd spot but like not a lot at all um, but I do suffer with a bit of like congestion so I get like blackheads on my chin around my nose area and then yeah the rest of my skin is basically just like dry and a little bit dehydrated so I try and focus on nourishing products that aren't too like stripping of the skin and I really just try to like keep it quite simple I think when I was younger I used to overdo it a lot with skincare and I used to think that putting every lotion and potion on my skin would clear it up and make it better but I've actually learned now I'm a little bit older that the simpler you keep your skincare sometimes the better it is and your skin doesn't get too irritated and yeah I just like to keep it nice and simple and gentle on my skin so without further ado let's start with cleansers because that makes the most sense so I've got two cleansers that I want to share with you guys the first one is a staple cleanser that I have literally had in my skincare routine for years now I've just showed you it's the body shop cleanser um this one is actually empty I'm about to start a new one but yeah this one is a cleanser that I have literally used for years I'm not even joking I love it it is my all-time favorite cleanser um it's the chamomile cleansing butter suitable for sensitive skin you literally need the tiniest amount um, you massage it into like dry skin and then you remove it with either a flannel for like a little bit of an exfoliation or just like rinse your face with water to remove it um, for a more gentle removal but I just love this I think it removes makeup really well it cleanses the skin it doesn't leave my skin feeling like tight and dehydrated once I've used it it feels really nourished and moisturized and hydrated so yeah I just always always go back to this cleanser um so this one had to have number one spot and then my number two spot is actually one that I have discovered more recently I've probably only had it for about a month or so but I'm really really loving it and it feels so lovely on my skin when I use it and I think that it just does the job and it's a really really lovely cleanser so I have been using the inky list oat cleansing balm I heard things about this like good things about this finally got my hands on it and tried it yeah like I said about a month ago and there's still so much product in here like you get so much the tube is massive and you only need like a tiny little bit this one you massage into damp skin um, and it's more of like an oily thicker sort of texture comes out like a balm and then as you massage it in it turns into oil um, and yeah I basically again remove this either with just like rinsing my face with water or using a flannel if I want to like scrub away at my skin and kind of give it a little bit of an exfoliation it says you can use it morning and night but I'll be honest with you guys I only use a cleanser in the evening like in the morning my skincare routine is so simple I literally splash my face with a little bit of water purely just to wake me up and then I use a serum and I moisturize and that's literally it and that for me really works well I think 
I read something not too long ago and it said that overnight your skin works really hard to like produce your skin barrier and like keep your skin barrier healthy and if you then wake up and you just wash your face with like a cleanser or a wash or whatever you use you're literally just stripping away all the natural oil that your skin has produced overnight and because my skin is dry I don't want to do that so this works well for me I rinse my face in the morning don't use a cleanser and then I use one of these in the evening after I've removed my makeup with a micellar water um this I kind of go in with for a double cleanse but yeah, they are my two favourite cleansers that I have tried so far. If you guys do have any recommendations for other products that you think I might like based off of these ones, please do let me know down below in the comments because I still always love trying new skincare products. Um, I just like to be a little bit careful with what I do and don't use. But yeah, do let me know what your favourites are as well. Um, so next up, I'm going to go in with like toner. But I'll be honest with you, I don't really use a toner. Um, the only product that I kind of use that is similar to a toner is the Pixi Glow Tonic. Now, this has been, again, a staple in my skincare for such a long time, and I've been using it for years, so I had to include it in this video. This is actually just the miniature size one, but it lasts such a long time because I honestly only use this like once or twice a week. I just put a little bit on a cotton pad, smooth it over my skin, and I only really tend to use this if my skin's either looking a little bit dull or I want like a little bit of an exfoliation, but nothing too harsh. Like if I'm getting like dry patches around my, I get dry skin like around my chin. So if I'm getting that, I will use that um, to kind of buff away any dead skin. It's just so good and I love it. And if you haven't tried this, you are 100% missing out. It's just such a great liquid exfoliator and yeah, really, really like this one. Um, and then the only other kind of exfoliating product that I've got is this one, which is the Plenaire three-in-one exfoliating clay. Again, I've had this for years um, and I don't use it that often. Again, probably only like once a week. If that, it really just depends how my skin is feeling. And if it's feeling a bit congested and it needs like a bit of a exfoliation, I will either use this or the liquid version. Um, yeah, I love it. It says on the back that you can use this as a mask, cleanser and exfoliator. But to be honest, I just use it as an exfoliator. Sometimes I leave it on the skin for like a few minutes and then rinse it off. But yeah, I personally think it works best as an exfoliator. Also, the packaging is just beautiful. I love plein air packaging and yeah, a really, really good one. And it's nice and gentle as well. Like Even though it's a physical exfoliator, it's not like irritating at all. And it is really gentle on the skin. So that's why I really like that one. I don't think it's good to go for like harsh scrubs because I just think all you're going to do is like irritate your skin. Um... So yeah, that's that. Then we've got moisturizers. Now I've got three moisturizers that I wanna share with you. Um, no surprise because I love a moisturizer and I've got dry skin. So this is kind of like the product that I use the most and also like love to try new ones of. So the first one is a very cheap and cheerful moisturizer, um, but it works. It's the Nivea Soft Moisturizing Cream. You can use this on your face, your body and your hands. Don't come for me. I know this probably isn't great for my face, but for me, it works and I love it. And I actually started using this again a few years ago. I saw a video that Sophia and Chintzia did and they both said that they swore by this cream and they all used it on their face and they loved it. So I got some and I've just always had a tube in the like bathroom ever since and I do really, really like it. It's just a good basic everyday face cream. Um, and it's good if you're like traveling or anything like that because you've then got like a body moisturizer as well as a face moisturizer. Um, it doesn't really have too much of a scent to it. It just leaves your skin feeling really soft and moisturized. And if you're looking for like a budget friendly moisturizer, I honestly would recommend this one. And um, we've then got something that's a little bit more specific and I like to use this only really if I've got any like dry patches on my face. Um, and this is the Avene, I'm not gonna even attempt to pronounce it that word um yeah this cream it says it's a restorative protective cream um for delicate skin and yeah i feel like that's literally what it does so if your skin's feeling a little bit dry you've got any like irritated patches i also use this if i get eczema as well and it works really well so it's more of like a treatment cream rather than like an all over face cream um but if, yeah you do suffer with sensitive skin or dry skin i would recommend having a little look at that one and then also i've got this one which I've used for probably like three years on and off. It's not like a regular product that I use every day or even like weekly. It's more of a, again, like a 
every now and then use product. I like to use it under my makeup if my skin's feeling really, really dry or as like a little bit of a treatment mask in the evenings. Um, it's the Walida Skin Food. Now this is just supposed to be like an everyday moisturizer, I think. But for me, it's a little bit too thick because it is like the thickest moisturizer you can get. Um, but I love the smell. It smells really like fruity and fresh and I love the way it leaves my skin feeling, but it is very, very thick. So I do fear that if I use this a lot, it might like clog my pores a little bit. So yeah, I just use this if my skin is feeling like extra dry or if I want my skin, oh, sorry, if I want my makeup to look like extra glowy, then I'll use this underneath it because it is a really good base for makeup. I feel like it makes your makeup stick to your face. Um, so yeah, they are like the top three moisturizers. Then we are gonna move on to face oil. So I only really started using face oil probably like the last year. Um, I think people get scared to use face oil because they think it's literally gonna make their skin just look oily. Now, I don't really suffer with oily skin anyway, so that was never an issue for me, but I I don't know. I just feel like face oil is now a much bigger thing than what it used to be, and I can totally see why. In the evenings, instead of using a moisturizer, I will use a face oil now, and I just feel like it leaves my skin looking so much more glowy, so much healthier, and I wake up with my skin just looking better. I don't know what it is. And I only have one that I use. Um, I've got two bottles of it here because there's a new one that's come out and I wanted to show you both packaging. But I use the Georgie Glow Rosehip Organic Vegan Face Oil. So I've shown you guys this face oil in videos before. It's actually from my work. So I work for a beauty brand slash beauty salon, do the Instagram, that kind of thing. And this is the brand that I work for. Um, so Georgie makes this oil herself. It is honestly such a lovely face oil and I literally rave about it to everyone. And this is the old packaging. It's like proper disheveled because it's just been everywhere with me for the last like four months. I'm like halfway through the bottle and I've had this for, yeah, probably about four months or so. So it's doing me pretty good. I use this every single night on my skin. I just do a couple of little drops and massage it in and it's just amazing. And because the color of the oil is actually like bright yellow, um, it leaves like a, an actual like physical glow on your skin. Like it almost looks like you've put fake tan on which is another thing that I just love about it. So yeah, it's got vitamin E, cypress, geranium, rosehip, and it's all organic and vegan and cruelty-free and all that good stuff. She makes it herself. Um, so this is the old packaging, and then this is the new packaging that she's recently designed. Um, I've got a bottle of this. This is actually going to my mum. I'm seeing my mum later, and I'm giving her this because I want her to start using it because um, it's really good for like sensitive skin or eczema, psoriasis, any kind of skin condition like that, even like acne or anything that's kind of aggravated on the skin this is really good for it um so yeah this one is for my mother but yeah this is the only face oil i literally used so that is the only one that's going to make it in this video um we've then got a few like little extra bits that don't really fit into categories so one is an eye cream i actually discovered this very recently this is the skin proud bright eye pomegranate eye cream they actually sent me this um skin proud sent me skincare every now and then and i honestly love it like i love their packaging so much and all of their products that i've tried so far have not let me down i've loved every single one of them um and this one made it into the video because I'm not really an eye cream kind of person like i i have them and i use them every now and then but like they're not it's not like a religious thing that i will have in my skincare routine every day i just forget and it's too much faff but this one is lovely and it smells good and it just feels lovely it sinks in really quickly under the eyes so yeah definitely check out skin proud if you are looking for a new eye cream or just any skincare to be fair they have really nice serums as well um and and their moisturizer in like a purple tub is also really really nice um we've then got a fake tan for the face because i thought i would include like my favorite tanning product for the skin so this is the skinny tan face tan wonder drops looks like this these are really old and the this pipette was never yellow before, so that's like how old this bottle is, but I've still got loads left. And yeah, what I do, if I wanna tan my face, I will use the Georgie Glow oil, put like three or four drops in the palm of my hand, and then like three or four drops of the tan, mix it together and just press it into my skin. And that's literally how I fake tan my face. Um, I don't do it very often, but when I do want a bit of tan, that is what I do. And then, oh my God, I'm literally out of breath. Why am I out of breath from talking? 
The very last skincare product that's gonna make it into my video is an SPF. Now, I will be honest with you, I haven't used an SPF on my face for that long, but since my new job, I've been using one every single day just because I'm learning more about skincare at work and I know how important it is and I just never really like found one that I liked or that sat well underneath makeup and this is the Groom SPF 50 facial sun cream. This is so good. Like this is a really cute little tiny bottle. So it's really good for travel size. And I've still got so much in here and I use it every day. Literally just a little pea size amount, massage it into the skin underneath makeup. And yeah, it doesn't leave like a white sheet on your skin. It doesn't affect the way makeup applies. Like it literally just sinks in and you can forget about it. And you know, you've got SPF 50 on your face all day. So yeah, I cannot recommend this one enough. Um, and yeah, they are all of my all time favorite skincare products. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful or useful. If you've got any questions at all, don't hesitate to leave them down below in the comments. And also let me know what your guys' favorite skincare is because I just love finding out about skincare. I just find it fascinating. Um, so yes, thank you so much for watching this little old school video. I really hope you did enjoy it. I am gonna end this video here, but yes, thanks for watching. I hope you are all doing super well and I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Goodbye.